Back in the capybara field, the big day has arrived. After her 21-week pregnancy, Lockley has gone into labour, in the middle of the paddock. But I guess it was just, she couldn't hold on any longer. <laughs> that was actually, it was like, I'm going to do it here. The other members of the group look on as the drama unfolds. All except dad-to-be, Jeff, who's decided to take a bath. Lockley's given birth to four pups. I think certainly for Jeff, the male, it's probably like, oh my God, where are all these kids coming from? With Dad Jeff taking a back seat, Lockley sets about the task of cleaning up the pups. But with so many youngsters under her feet, it's easy for something to go wrong. I think Mum didn't pick the best spot, really, because it was on a slope down to the water, so little one was just trying to get to its feet and just rolled down the hill. The newborn pup is struggling to get back onto dry land. Just anyone can give me a hand. I don't care. Just, just help me. And mum was getting a bit upset that the baby had just vanished. They're not like, say, a cat that you know can pick up a kitten by the scruff and walk off with it. They don't do that. shaken but unharmed. In the wild, if that one had rolled down into a body of water there, then it wouldn't have made it. I think that's probably why they have quite big litters. <laughs> you can't write a manual on motherhood, so it's just learning behaviour. Feeding her four pups is now the priority and it's going to be a new experience for Lockley. Hopefully having Lily there to guide her will be a great help to her. We're hoping that she'll have picked up some tips from her mum. They are a social animal, so it's not unusual for them to cooperate with each other and help out 